Hi, this is Tweak. On this week's episode of Tweaks with Tweak, we're going to tweak a common wooden box picked up at the craft store and turn it into a beautiful keepsake photo box. Want to see how it's done? Join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are, you'll need a wooden box. You'll need some hot glue to affix your acrylic jewels. You'll need some paint and a paintbrush. You'll need some paper towels. You'll need a piece of Pinecraft wood, 12 by 5 by 0.25 inches. You'll need some tight bond glue. You'll need an X-Acto knife, and you'll need a piece of felt with adhesive on the back. So let's go. The idea for this project came along with a box that I had found some years ago that had a photo frame in it, and I decorated it with the acrylic jewels. Loved it. So I wanted to repeat that process when I found another box. This one a little more simple and did not have a photo frame in the top. So how do we do that? We created one by taking a piece of pine and cutting it to fit the top of the box. So the way we made our photo frame is like this. This craft store box needed some tweaking, so first remove the hinges and save all the parts. Using another piece of pine, we measure the lid for the exact size and leave the overhang so that it opens nicely. Time to go to the scroll saw. We used a prototype piece of wood to measure where we wanted the photo to be in the lid. Four pilot holes are drilled so that we can attach the scroll saw and use it to cut out the inside of the square. Cutting out the first of the little photo squares. Another hole is cut that has to be larger than the first because the photo is going to fit in that space. Using the top piece that we just cut out, we'll determine on the lid where the next hole is to be cut. More pilot holes are drilled to let the scroll saw fit in there and do its thing. Both pieces of the lid now have the proper sized hole cut into them. Time for sanding to get rid of sharp edges, make everything smooth, and the smoother it is, the better it'll fit together. Using wood glue and smoothing it out, we're going to glue the two pieces together. We're clamping the lid and we're going to let it set for at least a few hours. Once the lid is dry and the glue is set, we're going to do more sanding. Now we need to cut out two little pieces, the arms that hold the photo in place. The arms are sanded. And then a hole is drilled because these are going to be what you maneuver to put the photo in and out of the frame. In goes the plexiglass and the arms are attached. Two pieces are cut as filler pieces to help hold the photo in place in the lid. Time to put it all back together. I hope you save those tiny screws. The hinges are attached and the box is done. We have this lovely box. It's been sanded and glued and now it's ready for decoration. So we're going to start out with some paint. Today I'm going to go with golds and yellows. So I'm going to grab my little dish here and I'm going to mix up. I don't want it a real bright yellow, but the photo or the picture I'm going to put inside the frame has got some yellow and I would like to complement that. So I'm going to mix uh, several different yellows here. A little bit 
of white to bring up the color just a bit. And we'll see what we get here. And if I like it, we're going to run with it. Here we go. So I'm just going to brush it over the top of the box. I'm not going into the inside where the photo's going to be. I'm just going to let that stay natural. Now before I get too far, I'm going to wipe it off with some paper towel. So I'm pulling off the color. So you get the color there and I like how you can still see the green. See that? Pretty. And so I will just continue pulling on the paint and then pulling it off again. One of the nice things about this technique is that it dries really fast. So before I get rid of my yellow paint, I want to make sure I caught the areas I wanted to catch. I think I was going to paint the inside, but I don't think I want to. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I see a little bit of yellow. That's good. So I'm going to get rid of my paint. For the next step, which is one of my favorite parts, to be dazzled or to bejewel this top. And what I'm going to do is, I found some of these acrylic jewels, and I sorted them only by uh, the shape and by the color. So what I'm going to do is randomly pull these out and cover the lid, just the top here. And however it turns out, it turns out, that's part of the fun. So I'm going to put these over here and I'm just going to start grabbing the colors. It's pink, blue, and green. And here we go. No rhyme, no reason, just uh, here we go. i start with the blue. I'm being mindful of the edge here for the photo and the edge, and that's it. And I'm just going to keep going till I cover the box. Alright, so I have run out of spaces, so I'm going to augment this, oh, it's turning out pretty, with some more beads. I want to fill in a couple little gaps, just a few, which means I'm going to add some more jewel power. I want little ones. I want this size. Oh golly, that's pretty. So I've got, if I have some little pink ones, I'm going to add them. Oh, yeah, see, this will be really pretty. If I can find little spots to add the pinks. And I prefer, it looks like, the darker pinks, if I can find them. 
I don't need a lot of them. Here we go. I'm going to stop. I'm stopping. <laughs> Let me gather up my jewels. Now I'm going to decide what picture to put in there. Um, a nice thing to do is to go through old cards that you have because you can take the inside of this out to get the measurement for the photo or the picture that you need. It's a piece of plexiglass there. I have to clean that up a little bit. Okay. The image that I've chosen is one from my wedding. So I'm going to take one of these insets and hold this up to the light so I can look through the picture and see what image is going to be on there. Then I'm going to hold that tight and cut. The old picture now is going to be in this frame. So we're going to put this back together. We've got a piece of plexiglass. And then the picture, and make sure the picture is upside down because this is in the lid. And then we have two pieces of wood to hold it in place. And then the little levers that hold it. <laughs> Pretty. Two more things to do. I like to put furniture pads on the bottom to give it just a little protection down there and to make it quieter when you use it. But in this case, I'm just going to use some sticky felt. I found some sticky felt hearts and they are going to be employed. i put one in each corner. Now, one more thing. I'm going to take just a little piece of sticky felt and place it underneath that lip. So when you flip this lid back, it's quiet and it helps the hinges to keep stress away from them. So I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and cut this piece in half. I'm going to come on this side. I'm just going to cut in half and place it right under the lip here on the box. And this is just about the size I need to. So I'm going to just let it adhere. So now, when you open it, and we're done, and it's ready to use. And there you have it, a very simple project where you can take a box with a little bit of tweaking, you'll end up with a beautiful keepsake. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to ring the bell so you know when the next episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, grab up some jewels and make something lovely. You'll appreciate it. I sure do. See you again.